Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Virgo. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates with you, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Okay. Also, your 2024 predictions can be found in the description box below for you. All right. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo, please? We have the Six of Wands, Victory and Success. In this reading, Virgo, I'm going to have a look at your tarot messages, your messages for the person on your mind. And then I'm also going to give you messages for your um, finances, okay? So when you guys join, do hit the like button. I feel like there's something here you're going to be celebrating very soon. There's this energy of, uh, of a good news coming your way. Okay, solar plexus, chakra energy. So I feel like the main energy here for you, Virgo, is of gaining your self-confidence in a situation. Um, I do feel like a lot of you are in this energy where you feel like you want to create and you want to move forward, okay? This is a very innovative and creative energy as well. So some of you could be focusing more on a creative project or a creative venture in your life, okay? Let's see. We have the Sun card. Nice. So... I see here that the energies are looking very nice for you. Happy energies. You could be celebrating something. It's it's like there's a sense of optimism here. Finding your confidence. Um, okay. Yeah, two of cups. I also see love coming your way. I heard your wait is over. The wait is over. So for a lot of you, um, Virgo, I feel like there is definitely an energy here of someone showing up in love for you as well. Um I feel like this reading is really positive. I really, really like your reading. Now, let's see what's your challenge, though. What's your challenge? The waiting game with the two of um, swords. You're feeling stuck? Hmm. I think here your challenge, Virgo, has something to do with you waiting on some form of a decision, but you've been feeling like you've been feeling like maybe you were going in circles, okay? And there was something that was still not working out for you. Okay. It's like an energy of you waiting for something to grow and evolve. Oops. Positive movement forward. Yes. So this is the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you are going to see positive changes in your money situation. For some of you, if you have travel plans or something related to a money situation, I do see that working out for you really well. You could gain success or some, some form of recognition or victory in whatever you're doing work-wise. Your advice here is to stand your ground and not give up. OK, because with that, this energy, the waiting game energy, it can, you know, make us feel like, you know, I've been waiting since forever and things have not really been going anyway, any in, in any direction. So let me just give up or let me just like not do this anymore. So you may be feeling discouraged because of something, but I don't feel like this is connected to um your work. I feel like this is connected to maybe a love situation in which you have felt like you were going in circles with somebody. So 
your outcome is really beautiful. And again, you know, Virgo, you're getting really good cards in the reading, which means that the next two to three weeks for you are going to be very abundant and full of positive energy, which I do want you to claim because, you know, who doesn't like a good reading? But you do have to stand your ground. Um, let's see. Nine of Swords, Suffering in Silence, and the Five of Wands. So one thing I see here is that maybe you have a habit of... I feel like you have a habit of uh, dealing with things by yourself. And you don't really like to share... Um, you don't really like to share your struggles with people because you like to tackle things yourself or deal with things yourself. And I do think here that I see you going within to find answers and I feel like you're going to find your way out of a tough situation. However, I'm also getting here that moving forward, you have to be able to choose between your battles. There are certain challenges and battles that you won't be able to fight because they're not yours to fight, okay? Uh, especially with that suffering in silence energy. Some of you have been very silent and contemplating something. Okay. Silently is what I'm getting. What is this about? accelerated motion eight of wands so yes whatever you are stressed out about things are going to uh feel good again for sure with that accelerated motion energy you know this is a card where the woman is wishing upon the star or she sees the you know the star so this is a sign of positive forward movement in your life um I really feel like, Virgo, uh, you're going to get some form of a news or some form of communication because Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands can represent communication. Um, let's see. There could be a person coming towards you as well, someone you're emotionally connected to. Some of you could be going to the gym or eating healthy or something like that. I do feel like there is somebody coming towards you, though. There's someone coming towards you. I don't feel like your focus is on this person, though, Virgo. You're not focused on them. Let's see what's your person's energy. I feel like in the next few weeks, you really have to um, fight for something. It's like fighting for your sense of self and your self-confidence. Um, okay. Okay. We have moving on. Someone you're connecting to, they're trying to move on from you or this is someone who has stopped communicating with you. Okay. Let's see what more. Ace of Swords. Okay. So in your extended, though, I'm going to have a look at your pause person and your new person's energy. For single Virgos, you can have a look at the new person's energy or for those who are already dealing with a new person. I'm going to discuss that in the extended as well as your blessings and challenges. So if you're interested, you can have a look at that in the description box below. But for now, I feel like whoever this is with the two of cups being here, moving on and triumph and success, you know, ace of swords is generally a card of confession or communication, clear communication coming in for you. So I feel like this is someone who is going to communicate and say something. But how do you know who this person is, is this is somebody who you have not communicated with in a while, maybe six weeks, six days, two weeks or something like that. OK, I feel like this communication is also going to come in all of a sudden for you. So this is this is an energy that's showing up suddenly. OK. Let's have a look.
Page of Cups. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but Pisces energy is evident and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. Leo energy showed up here too. Some of you may have a Leo moon or you could have Leo placements yourself. So yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Swords for your person's energy. Yes, so this is someone who's wanting to communicate and move forward with you. With the Page of Swords energy, I also feel like Virgo, maybe this person has been spying on you. They've been watching you. <laughs> Okay, they may be feeling like you're ignoring them. Okay, so let's see. Let's have a look. So, this person's feelings for you, how they view you, actions they plan on taking, where is it going, and your advice. Your new person's energy, their view of you. Actions they plan on taking, where is it going, and your advice. Bottom of the deck is the two of wands, decisions. You have decisions to make surrounding your love situation. I'm going to continue your reading in the extended. If, you're, if you want, you can have a look at it. Now let's get you your um, messages for your finances. Oops, whoops, whoops. What did I just see? windfall i told you virgo that there is something really really nice showing up in the energy for you i really feel like you're about to make really good amount of money okay money is currently in a very positive cycle for you this is a great time to treat yourself or to make a big purchase wow beware there could be someone around you who is trying to tell you what to do with your finances, but don't listen to other people. Make your own decisions. Um, then we have celebrate. You're, yeah, you're going to be celebrating something. Some of you could be going to a party or an event very soon. You have accomplished so much and you will ac accomplish so much more. Take some time off and celebrate your success because you deserve it. There may be an unforeseen increase in your income and work hard in silence. So for a lot of you, what I see here is that um, something that you've worked hard towards, you're going to start to see that things will pay off in the next few weeks. Uh, starting the new year, you know, your energy is really, really positive, really positive. And your reading started off with the Six of Wands, which is a card of success, which is a card of victory anyway. So I do feel like for a lot of you, um, there is an unforeseen increase in your income. Nice. So... That's it, Virgo. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Have a look at the extended to know more about your blessings, your challenges, your past person and your new person's energy. You can also have a look at your 2024 predictions linked below. And I will see you guys next time. Virgo, bye.